Moving on to concussions. This is a clinical syndrome of both immediate and transient impaired neurologic function that is characterized by alteration in consciousness, visual disturbance, and equilibrium disturbance. Physical exertion usually will raise the arterial pressure in an athlete who has lost the ability to autoregulate as a result of that clinical syndrome. As a result, they may develop cerebral edema. Uh, they will manifest by headaches, unsteadiness, and cognitive dysfunction. It can be graded in different ways. The one that is most commonly used is from the American Academy of Neurology based on length of impairment and loss of memory. First, uh, a grade one concussion. There's no loss of consciousness, but the symptoms last usually for less than 15 minutes. One point I'd love to make to anybody who's going to do um, sideline work, if you're going to be the uh, doctor for your high school, um, again, you're not respected. You're just the old man or old woman who's in the way. If you want somebody to not play football, take their helmet and put it in your car. Yes. At least, at least one shoe, exactly. Because otherwise, you tell number 88, no, you can't play. You've had a concussion. He feels fine. His buddies uh, essentially know more than you do. And therefore, if you put the helmet down, it will have turned around. And all of a sudden, 88's running down on the kickoff team. OK. Please. Then they did. If you thought they did, they did. It's, it's that simple. And who's going to believe who? So they're going to say whatever it takes to continue to play. So the answer is if you think they did, they did. Yes, sir? Oh, thank you. That's great. Uh, for those who didn't hear, if the coach can find the, the person on second string, to, essentially you want to make sure that this player does not play. So you do whatever it takes to make sure that they don't have the equipment that they need to play including their helmet and the guy behind them's helmet. Grade two, no loss of consciousness, but their symptoms last for more than 15 minutes. Grade three is any degree of loss of consciousness, because theoretically brain injury is possible. So there are different grading systems, uh, but the one that's most commonly used is the AA American Academy of Neurology, uh, again, the one that we just went over. So if they have had a concussion, what does it take for them to return to play? If they've had a grade one, they need to be out for at least 15 minutes uh, and have a normal mental status exam. I usually ask them to re recite something from Chaucer. <laughs> <laughs> they can't do it, they can't play. <laughs> um, if they've had a grade two, they need to be out for a week. And again, this is out for a week with no symptoms before they can be allowed to return to play. And at that point, they should have a normal exertion exam. One point that has been made periodically is if they have that grade one concussion, they've been out for 15 minutes and they pass my mental status exam, then I want them to do some wind sprints and then do the mental status exam. So what happened after the exertion? Uh, so I, I'm trying to put as many barriers as possible in front of someone to prevent them from, from returning to play quickly. Uh, if they've had a grade three, then they should be out for one or two weeks. Uh, and then uh, they should have a normal CT before they're allowed to return to play. And again, that's a week of no symptoms before I get the CT, and then they can play. If they've had a second event, now this is my opinion, if they've had a second event in a lifetime, but the rules state if they've had a second event this, this uh, academic year, then they, if they've had a grade one, the second grade one, they should be out for a week. Uh, and again, normal mental status exam in order to return to play. If they've had a grade two, then they should be out for two weeks. And again, that normal exertion test. Uh, and a grade three, out for a month, which functionally means the season. Um, and then a normal CT or MRI before they're allowed to return to play. Reason, uh, if they have a series of concussions, they need to have complete recovery between each event. No neurologic deficit, no persistence of symptoms, because you're trying to avoid the second impact syndrome, where um, they return without complete recovery, and then uh, they have catastrophic uh, problems after a trivial blow. I think um, the most classic example is uh, Steve Young, uh, who plays for, played for the 49ers, had a concussion one week, returned the next week, and literally was tackled. It wasn't a, a horrendous tackle. He was just grabbed and held and put down to the ground. Now, obviously, it's by a big, strong person trying to do it hard, but he just made contact with the, with the ground with his helmet and laid there for 15 minutes, just couldn't, couldn't move. So uh, second impact is something that you definitely want to avoid. Yes, sir? Does it 
second impact, do you need to consider what the grade of the first impact was? No, sir. No. Uh, if, they are have a, if they had a grade one two weeks ago and have another grade one, I'm sorry, as far as I'm concerned, it's not a dinger, which is quite often the, the, the cute word that's used by uh, you had your bell rung or something like that. No, as far as I'm concerned, you had your brain scrambled. And so now you had your brain scrambled a second time. So at that point, you, you're going to have to prove to me that you're absolutely OK before I can allow you to return. Well, again, the, when you bring up the pros, at that point, the discussion stops. Because at that point, we're not talking about sports medicine. We're talking about occupational medicine. Okay, where your job is to weigh, you weigh 210 pounds and you have 270 pound people who are paid millions of dollars to hurt you. So at that point, that's your job, is to avoid getting hurt by that person. So that to me is not sports medicine, that's occupational medicine. And so almost all of these rules get thrown out because you're not really dealing with the safe and healthy and well-being of the team, of the, of the person. You're dealing with the financial repercussions for the, for the team. So. Yes, that would apply to my fifth grader, to my 10th grader, to my college sophomore. But at the pro level, almost all of the, almost all intelligence gets thrown out. Okay, because at that point, you'll have people who have a horrible, uh, well witnessed, millions of people saw Troy Aikman have a grade two concussion and go around literally drooling and play in the championship game the next week. There's no way, according to any of these rules, that he should have done that. But he's going to stand there and say, no, I'm perfectly fine, because the Cowboys lose money if gorgeous Troy Aikman doesn't show up to play. So that, the rules get thrown out. Yes? Chaucer. Something hard. So, uh, a math question. Um, something, uh, quite a, anything that you can make up that you feel is defensible that is reasonable for a young person to know how to do. And depending on who, uh, how well you know the students, um, I, some kids I say, tell me a Bible verse. And it has to be, you can't make a mistake. Okay, some, something, anything to make it relatively hard on them to be able to return back if their mental status is at all um, in question. Uh, I think we covered the concept of cerebral edema. Uh, this is what you're trying to avoid. This is without a doubt something that will show up um, this year if you watch ESPN, uh, Fox Sports, something. They're going to find some athlete who has had a, a very difficult time and now has post-concussion syndrome. I don't recall the names of them, if anybody could help me. I know that Sam Mackey was the tight end and the offensive uh, tackle who played next to him for the Baltimore Colts for several years. So these guys have been friends for years. Now they can't recognize each other anymore. It was in the New York Times. Uh, and so they're, the, the, the story was really on what their wives have to go through to put up with, bad choice of words, to, to help support their husbands who now are unable to recognize, remember virtually anything. Uh, if you're playing a sport where your, your job is to collide with someone who weighs a lot and do so hard and drive them to the ground and you wonder what happens to your head. Uh, Al Toon is another favorite because this is a guy who had, I believe, 11 concussions in eight seasons and now can't balance a checkbook. I mean, he's got a million dollars, but he can't balance his checkbook. So there's no treatment for this. It's only time. So concussions is something where, in my estimation, it is our duty and responsibility to not make concussions a badge of courage, but be thought of as